Girl, you get really mean back there. <laughs> Beyonce is known for being one of the nicest and most unproblematic celebrities out there, but recently her mother, Tina Knowles, revealed a shocking story about her daughter. Sometimes she'd be crying. I was like, she crying because she knows she just said some crazy <laughs> stuff to us. And you won't believe what she said and why Beyonce might not be as nice as we all thought. Recently, Beyonce's mom, Tina, exposed something huge that has got everyone talking. She was on Sherry Shepard's daytime talk show, and Sherry asked her what Beyonce was like during her Renaissance tour. And Tina's reply was pretty surprising. She first of all laughed it off before admitting to Sherry that she and Beyonce had actually talked about it recently. In her words, her daughter was mean backstage between songs during her outfit changes on tour. In fact, Tina even said that she was so happy that she didn't have to be backstage anymore to avoid dealing with that. And Beyonce's reply to that was insane. Tina said that Beyonce said that she was only like that because she was an irritable person in the mornings. But Tina, who had been a recipient of her mean girl attitude for a long time, pointed out that she she was the same in the evenings too. Honestly, this was really surprising to hear because Beyonce has managed to stay drama free for years so everyone assumed that she was nice behind the scenes. It looks like that might not be the case, but Tina also said that Beyonce apologized to her after and explained that she was only stressed from the numerous outfit changes she had to do on tour. But was that an excuse when Beyonce was actually the one who picked out the costumes and chose to wear them all herself? Tina said that they hired four new stylists and had over 600 costumes to choose from with Beyonce wearing about four or five of them every night and the goal behind that was for fans to pick up on the show's visual themes which Tina confirmed that they did. So why was Beyonce taking her anger out on the styling staff? It just seems so unnecessary but this isn't actually the first time that there's been news of Beyonce mistreating her staff. In 2018 Beyonce's former drummer Kimberly Thompson spoke up about the alleged harm she suffered while working with Beyonce. Kimberly revealed in an exclusive interview with Daily Mail TV that she had been bullied while working with Beyonce and allegedly it got so bad that she even had to apply for a restraining order against Beyonce after she stopped working for her. In her words, her job had been a total nightmare with her boss allegedly trying to control everything she did, but nobody believed her. In fact, even the judge denied her request for a temporary restraining order and she came under fire for lying about Beyonce and using her to chase clout because her claims had no evidence. So Kimberly was left to deal with everything on her own. And it's crazy because even when people eventually started to believe her, the reason was that maybe Beyonce had let the fame get to her momentarily. But it seems like Beyonce has always been like this. In 2002, a waitress said that Beyonce was allegedly very rude at a restaurant. This person posted about her encounter on Quora and said that she first saw her at Papado in Texas. Then the person stated that Beyonce didn't even acknowledge her and only her sister Solange was nice. Then in 2006, another person allegedly came across Beyonce at the NBA All-Star Game, which took place at the Houston, Texas Center. The person stated that she was pretty rude too. And to top it all off, there's even another story out there about a restaurant order connected to Beyonce. Allegedly, Beyonce was signing at the KFC Yum Center in December 2013, and she and her staff ordered a ton of food. Now, the huge problem was that her employees didn't leave a tip, even though their restaurant bill was over a thousand dollars, and the cashier threw in some free food. These claims were shocking, but Beyonce fans didn't believe any of it because Beyonce's entire career was always drawn free. I mean, for the longest time, she had never even really beefed with any mainstream celebrity, or so we thought. Tiffany Haddish told GQ magazine in 2018 that she actually witnessed an actress bite Beyonce's face at a party in December. According to her story, what happened was that the actress bit Beyonce and she got angry and went to tell Jay-Z. Then Tiffany wanted to fight for her, but Beyonce apparently told her that the person who bit her was using substances at the time. Tiffany's story shocked the whole world, including many celebrities, and everyone was trying to figure out who the actress was, but no one found out. So many people speculated that Beyonce tried to keep it under wraps because something very messy happened that prompted the actress to bite her. Obviously, this is all just speculation, but the truth is that this wasn't Beyonce's only celebrity beef. Her long-standing beef with Wendy Williams is actually pretty wild, but in a shocking twist of events, it's actually Wendy who has mostly done the provoking. In 2012, she mocked the way Beyonce speaks, and in 2014, she made some pretty horrible comments about her potential divorce from Jay-Z. Then in 2016, 
2016, she criticized Beyonce's album Lemonade. And in February 2020, Wendy blamed Beyonce and Jay-Z on her show for not standing during the national anthem at the Super Bowl. In Wendy's words, Beyonce disrespected the country by remaining seated while Demi Lovato sang the anthem. And she repeated the same actions at the 2020 Golden Globes when Joaquin Phoenix won Best Actor in a Drama Award and everyone but her gave him a standing ovation. But many of her fans tweeted about it and said that they didn't see a problem with what she did on either of those occasions. Even Beyonce herself, through a source close to her, told reporters that she felt that Wendy was getting the karma she deserved when her husband had an affair outside their marriage. The source said that Beyonce thinks that Wendy, who always judged and criticized her, now looks like a hypocrite. But was Wendy really the hypocrite here? Beyonce has also had beef with her friend Kanye West and she didn't even show up to his wedding because of it, which was a huge deal. However, Beyonce isn't all bad. She's had her streaks of goodness over the years and frankly, they kind of outweigh her wrongs. In 2013, a source claimed that Beyonce and Jay-Z splashed out around $4 million in bonuses to treat their staff. And they didn't leave anyone out. From their staff at the nightclub to their housekeepers, they gave everyone a bonus. They even reportedly phoned their personal assistant to make sure that there wasn't a mistake and everyone had received their bonuses. Apparently, Beyonce is also extremely nice to celebrities as many of them have stepped forward to say good things about her. Seth Rogen met her at a movie premiere in July 2019 and he told Jimmy Kimmel that she approached him and was very nice. Zendaya also said that Beyonce was very nice to her in person and other actresses like Anna Kendrick said that she was really nice too. Even non-famous people benefit from her kindness. Julia Carol Ann shared a video on TikTok where she rated the famous people that she met at the restaurant she worked at. She said that Jay-Z and Beyonce were both at the restaurant and her rating for them was 10 million out of 10 because Beyonce said thank you and even smiled. According to Distractify, another waiter also benefited from Beyonce's goodness when she went to the Temple Bar in Dublin, Ireland back in 2013. She gave the place an Instagram shout out and got the restaurant sales to skyrocket. So Beyonce's good deeds really do outweigh her wrongs over the years. And maybe the only reason she behaved like that backstage was due to the stress of her ongoing renaissance tour. But what do you guys think? Do you think Beyonce is actually nice or do you think she might be a little bit of a diva? Let me know in the comments below.